In this video, I'm going to be showing my Web Design 102 class how to access their files on a computer. If you need to access your files on the Chromebook, please see the attached video that I made for my 101 class. It's not going to be exactly what you need as far as using Repellent, but it will tell you how to transfer the files, so you may want, need to watch that. In this case, we're going to be downloading our files to a jump drive and or the hard drive of the computer. Um, I have taken the liberty of uploading your files from the school network to your Google Drive. I've also created a Repellent account for you and created a document to be used in that Repellent account. To access these do uh, documents I've uploaded for you, go to the Google class on the placard for this class. Click on the icon that looks like a folder. That should bring you to the drive for this class. There should be a 102, Web Design 102 folder. You're going to right click on that and download it. That will create a zip file in your Download file. You're going to double click on that. It will open up Windows Explorer with an Extract All button. You're going to click on that. It will ask you where do you want to extract it. Um, you can, at this point, extract it to a jump drive or the hard drive. So I'm going to extract it to a jump drive, and I'm going to call it Web Design 102 it's on the E drive. It's going to open up that file folder when we get done. That should take a few minutes. I have a lot of stuff, um, but not that long. All right, so now I'm going to go find my E drive. I should have a Web Design 102 that I just downloaded today on the 26th at 1.18. And then it's my backup documents. And there is the folders that we've been using in class. Now, to use those from a jump drive, I'm going to go to my Repellent account. So I'm going to go close that window, go back to my browser, type Repellent. I'm going to log in and use my Google credentials. I'm going to go to my Repels. You should have one called HTML Practice. Um, I have one called HTML Practice 102 for this class, but yours should just say Practice, and it should have already been shared with me. So you're going to open that up. The way Repel works is it will create a blank HTML document with all of the things you need. It will have a link to a style sheet, and it will link to a JavaScript sheet, and those two files are right there. And it will this will be created in the index.html. When you run a repel it, it will always run the index.html. Um, doesn't matter what files you have in here, but it's going to run that first. So we need to create links to our files. But first of all, let's get one of our files in here. So I'm going to go back to my E drive going to go to HTML, and I'm just going to grab my HTML5 document and drag and drop it. All right, so I now have that document. I can try to click on it and run, but nothing's going to happen because run will run the index.html. So let's put a few pieces of code in here just so we know. So this is h1 index.html 
we know that's the index. Forward slash H1. And then we're going to link to that HTML5 document. So we're going to do a ahref equals open quote HTML5 dot HTML. Going to link to the HTML5 document. And we're going to do a forward slash A. All right, so we have a link to that document we just created. I'm going to run it. There's our H1. There's our link. Okay, file not found. Now, unlike when we use Notepad++, which is not case sensitive, Repel it is case sensitive. So you notice that in my file name is HTML5 uppercase. So I need to make that match. HTML5. I'm going to run that link to it and I should now get that all right so we're missing a few pictures so I'm going to go back to my um, drive and drag and drop the images directory into that and that's going to give me my pictures that I might be missing so we got the cat HTML5 so I'm going to run it again and HTML5 and see what okay so now I have the directory but none of my pictures are showing up so now we need to go investigate that. My guess is it is also a case sensitive problem. Um, so here's my link to Xbox Five in images. All right, I see the problem. Images is lowercase and my directory has an uppercase. So I'm going to have to rename that with a lowercase i. and run again html5 and i get that document but i do not get the next one next to it which is the xbox oh same problem this xbox has a lowercase the file name itself has a uppercase you can click on it it'll show you the icon you can click on the hot dog to rename make that a lowercase x run again <laughs> click HTML5 so that I know. Run it. Okay, that's working. That's working. And we're still missing one picture, which is a cat picture. Um, we got cat JPG with a capital JPG, and we got a cat with a lower JPEG. So we need to, again, make sure that the case is correct. So we're going to do JPG, run again, open that up, and there's the cat. See if you can get the HTML5 document that we created in class working. Um, and then make sure that in the invite, you my name is in there. If it's not, you need to share it with me. Click me M at WVSD208.org. Click on invite and that will send me a link that will allow me to actually access your files. For, if you have any questions, please make a comment in the Google Classroom.